Hey everyone, you got the whole Automator team here today, and this is a really, really exciting tool. A lot of people will write us and they're like, hey, I'm using this arbitrary tool mentioned. How could I automate it? And I'm like, yeah, it's really a discovery process because there is no tool that tells you how you can automate it, the approach you have to take. Well, I thought about it and I'm like, you know, 90% of the time, it's one of a couple. We have outlined, um, what is it, 18 different ways to automate with AutoHockey, but more often than not, there's a couple main ways we do it. And so I'm like, we can, and we can discover, we can make a simple tool to see if those are available. So um, Isaiah and Erfan helped that we crank this tool out. Um, it's still in like beta kind of version, but it's very, very cool. So Erfan, I want you to show how when you drag, so you'd start the tool and then drag, use little crosshairs to drag to it. And this, what's really cool is it's going to tell you, it doesn't tell you the how, right? It doesn't help you with the how, but it lets you know what's available. And we came up with some weightings on simplicity, how hard it is. So like those Win32 menu tool, that's our menu writer. Like that one actually writes the, the code for you. So the that very first one there, and if you double click that, it would launch it in the browser and where to get it, by the way. So um, yeah, that one, these older menus, it's really cool. This, this thing will write syntax to help you to trigger those things. So it literally writes the code for you. Controls are what we talk about a lot. They're a phenomenal way to automate older programs. They're not in the newer, like window, uh, Word doesn't have them, but the older programs have controls. Then there's more advanced things like ACC and UI. Both of those are, you know, not for the light at heart. You have to understand objects and programming. Um, and then the messages, basically any program, you can you should be able to, to some degree automate it with a message. Right. So those are the things. There's one other one not listed in this one because it doesn't have it. Once you show if you drag this onto Word. Now here, instead, we have a com object in addition to some of the other ones. The com objects, those honestly, like I've been using com objects for years and I'm I'm no programmer, right? Like they're very easy to understand. Once you have an example and you can borrow them, right? These other ones, if you do find something like the messages or UIA and you want help. So first off, the, the hyperlink in the bottom right would take you to our website on consultations. But the other really cool thing you can do is um, as you use this tool, we built in a little tool so you can you can use, you can launch, built into Windows, I think seven plus, do you know, Isaiah, where did yeah, that start? Yeah, it, it is a very, it is, no, even, even Windows XP, I, I remember XP having that. It was just named oh, differently, okay. but you could, okay. but you could uh, record your steps. Yeah. So we're launching that tool, um, which allow you to, for example, if you need help with automating a specific program, you can start recording in the steps that you want to record, to record or automate, and that way we have a better idea to help you out how to automate that program. Um, and then once you stop the recording, you get a type a type of file. You can save it there at the top. You can save it and yeah, and send us that. You can send that. But if you are not comfortable sharing your screenshots like that, because it yeah, records you. screenshots automatically, you have a way to disable that before recording. So there is a section. You have to stop that, actually. Yeah, we have a video on using steps recorded. Right. You don't have to go into that. Make sure you disable that before recording on the settings. That's all. Right. So now, lastly, though, what we would love is while you do this tool, if you automate something, you drag to it, you can hit the share button. Now, this is going to say your name. And then if you hit submit, go ahead, just hit submit right now. It'll write an email with the relevant information. It'll open it your default email tool. And it will write an email to us with here was the thing I was doing. And this will help us. We're going to shove this thing into a database so we learn what programs have what methodologies, right? Which will be great for other people. Uh, but if you also wanted help, you can go back to, so close this message. I, I leave it, it's fine. Um, and then hit share and then click the help button. I need help. And here's where you can write in a little bit more information about what you're trying to do. And then when you hit submit, it will it'll include your message to us. Of course, you could freehand type that in the email. But it'll it'll do the same thing. It just puts your message in there for us, and it's just a great way to you know ping us so we know what you're trying to work on, um, and then we'll set up a call to to try to figure out what you're actually trying to do. Because this 
this to me, and now it's not perfect. Like I said, I know of 18 ways to automate programs. This one has what we talk about five or so somewhere in there. Yeah. There are others. So just because it doesn't show up here, doesn't mean it can't be automated from one of the other ways. It's just the other ones aren't nearly as common. These are by far the majority of things. These are the approaches we use day in, day out. So we're very familiar with them. Right. So let us know, that, again, the tools in beta, we're going to be updating it right now. Oh, and Refadium, if you're doing a browser, that's awesome. I forgot we had that one. Um, right now, these go to main links, but what our plan is, is to record videos, specifically a little bit tutorial of how to do it and a resource page. So right now they go to the main topic of it, but later when we get going, we're going to record you know, more training, like how you would go about automating it what resources, what courses we cover that topic in, in case you want to, you know, just get a course to learn. Um, or, you know, but there are a lot of resources. The problem is we don't want to overburden this tool with all that information, right? So okay. let us know what you think. Um, please like the video if you learned something. It really helps us out. And have an awesome day. Bye. Bye.